Hey, Ryan. Hey, Austin. Mind if we come see your studio? Sure, come on in. I'm working on something right now. So uh, how did you get started doing this? So I started pottery in high school, started learning hand building, and then I started in wheel throwing. I just really love throwing the wheel. So what gets you the most excited about this craft? I think just the ability to just make whatever you want. The flexibility to see what customers are interested in, test something out, see what works, see what doesn't work, what customers respond to. And that's just what makes it exciting for me. So what inspires you? So I'm mostly inspired by just customers responding to my work and feeling like I can produce something that they can use on a daily basis. I really like the ability to get my stuff in front of people at shows and having them interact with it and get immediate feedback. So what is your overall top selling product? Has to be mugs. I'm making mugs right now. Um, they're always a go-to. I know that they're gonna sell and it's really just a, a matter of figuring out glazes that work with people, what um, different forms and different changes I can make to them to make them more appealing. If you had one piece of advice for someone starting out, what would it be? So I am very data heavy. So I make a lot of decisions based on what sells that I also like to make, you know, be conscious of that early on and think about what's going on financially with your business and, you know, what customers are responding to what pieces. What is your favorite thing about using Rillo? Probably a lot of people say the ink, that it doesn't use ink. And that's great because I previously was using a laser printer and, you know, you have to replace the toner every now and then. So the the no ink aspect of it is really good. Shipping your work can sometimes be an afterthought because it's the very end of the process, but having the right tools and the right equipment can really make a difference.